My name is Dallas Hanks and I'm a PhD student at Utah State University. We are at the Roadside Simulation Lab, which is part of the uh, Utah State Experiment Station. I actually took this idea to UDOT and pitched it to them in 06 and uh, said, you know, there's lots and lots of land as I drive back and forth to Idaho along these freeways. Being an agronomist, I thought, is there something that we can do with this land that would be more sustainable than just mowing it? We positioned these seeds in four areas along the I-15 corridor. So Utah was the pioneer in this idea of using non-traditional agronomic lands for the growth of sustainable biofuel feedstocks. What I'm walking through here is a canola crop. And this is traditionally grown in the Pacific Northwest Canadian uh, regions. And basically what this is is an oilseed crop that is used to make vegetable oils that you might use in your salad uh, dressings or cooking. And what you see here is the flowering process. You can see bees flying around, pollinating, cross-pollinating, doing the work of nature which will eventually become uh, little seeds. From that then what we get are these pods that might look somewhat like a pea pod to you. And inside there would be little, little grains that would be about 40% oil. Then what we would do is take that seed and we would actually press it so the oil would separate from the seed. And then we would take that oil and do one more refining step to it and then it could go straight into your gas or into your diesel vehicle. I grew up on a farm and uh, that's pretty non-traditional nowadays, but I did grow up on a farm, a production dairy farm in Idaho. And uh, at the time, um, I didn't feel like this kind of science was cool enough, but for some reason, I stayed in it. And I thought that maybe with a scientific background, I could help contribute to the world some of the things that needed to be solved. The opportunities here for young people and old people and middle-aged people, anyone, are uh, very significant. And so the tools that you generally need to get in is a fairly solid science background. It doesn't matter if you're in the biologies, if you're in chemistry, if you're in physics, if you're in mathematics, or in a combination of any of those things. Um, those are the basic tools that you would need to succeed in this area where pretty well mired down in a paradigm right now or a thought process where we're a petroleum-based society. And I don't know necessarily that that has to be the case. Uh, I'm quite confident that with the, with the effort that we, that, uh, or with the proper um, American ingenuity spirit, I think we could do some really, really amazing things for us and for the world.